as if a six saber. Little wings missing. Six Saber. Hey, Phase Six Saber. Pretty solid here, it's not flexible. It's molded pretty well here. Cockpit in the front. The nut, as you can see right over the cockpit here. You can see like that's where the cockpit is in the front. You can see right there. Every single little detail is in here. This resin works. Every single little detail is molded perfectly with this resin. air bubble here, air bubble here every single detail it molds perfectly with this resin if it is a saber this is a pretty neat to give out this F86 saber 1950s, 1953. F86 Saber. Look at this here. They don't try to mold this like this. Facing downward. So mold it facing downward. I think it's going to flow here and fill in here and flow in up to the top. So mold it facing downward this way it doesn't seem to go into the crevices so mold this facing downward like that this is really amazing look at this check this out look how small it is it's not expensive you can give this away just like this to people Look how neat this is. This is neat, look at this. So here we have a part here. Let's take a look at this, even though it has damage there, it's still molded somewhat. Still kind of molded. Interesting. In here, in here, a basic saber. So paint this, and it'll look better. Paint it, it looks pretty good. Paint it, it's just brighter, and you can really see it. Um, gray, maybe? Kind of gray. You can look at the pictures, blue cockpit. blue carpet or black window glass in the front the airplanes is really great because we should make more movies with airplanes with just people that are somehow working driving to the airfield and then they got their airplane there they're working on some experimentation or something or different movies with airplanes because airplanes give people a sense of freedom because you're going into the sky you're looking to the sky 
this sense of, of freedom and lightness and of looking up to the sky, the plane comes by, it circles around, it lands, or, or movies with airplanes. Whatever location you can get to where you can get access to the airplane, an airplane that's actually going to land on camera and land and then, you know, interact, the people interact with the airplane and stuff like that. You don't even have to be building or testing aircraft, but just the, the movie with the interaction between a plane that's circling and the people are looking at it, then it lands. And then, you know, you could travel using the airplane. You travel using cars a, a little bit, but then it's the air. People love that because everybody today is just drive, driving with cars everywhere. It's all the matrix of cars. So people want to get away from that and escape. It's the escapism. Airplane is the perfect escapism. An airplane is escapism. So airplane, spacecraft, same thing. Airplane flying. And it's total escapism. So... This is the ultimate es in escapism. It's even better than space because space, like you don't know space, you don't see it. It's kind of like you can't interact with it. With this, you can interact with it. The plane circles, they land, the people pull up with the car, they, they you know, what's up, and then what, and then they exchange and they get in the plane and fly, you know, get in the plane and then they fly off somewhere. Then they they then they land at the other location. The other location could be really, really, really remote, a remote location. And then there's something they're working on. There's a way to service the plane. There's a place for them to hang out and live there, and they start working there. Then they fly back, and, and then there's cars there, a car there, or whatever, may, maybe one car or nothing. And then they just fly back to the, fly back to the location. And, uh, you know, this the escapism. They fly back to the location. There's people over there. It sounds like the Chanel Chanel commercial. They fly back to the place, the location, land. They need to do more movies with with aircraft, with planes. How's this one here? This one is this one, and this one is this one. This one is ready right here and here. We have extra stuff. Extra stuff. Extra stuff. Maybe I will fill this one in. This one I want to make a better mold. I think I'll fill this one. I think I'll fill this one here. It's very hard to do. Maybe an up, an up. If it's like that, different channels. We could break the pieces off. It's called, I forgot what it's called. It goes in like this. And you just put it in the vertical position, maybe. Oh, this one. Open this like this. And fill this. Open this like this, fill this like this. Wow, it's really hot. Just fill it with a flow down there. It's flowing. Flowing in there. Get this part done. Just manufacturing. This part down there. As far as manufacturing here. Fill this part down here with this. Okay. Like that.
it goes down there like that, flowing this in here. I'm not going to make that good a part. I don't think it's going to make that good a part, this one. The mold needs to be better. The mold needs to be bigger. The mold needs to be bigger. This is going to dry just fine. Just dries fine. This is going to dry fine. Okay, this one is drying, and this one 